Hey Cappy, hey Capricorns, how y'all doing? It's your girl Ruth. Welcome back to another series. And as y'all can see, I'm talking about your sign, what type of god and goddess from the Greek and Egyptian mythology or truth. Who knows? <laughs> and sorry y'all, it took me so long. My grandson came at five this morning, it was pouring down rain and forgot his iPad, he wants to use my phones, blah blah blah. Okay, anyway. Yeah, so uh, in case anybody don't know how empowered they are and the ancestors and inside, and you are, you know, God and goddesses, you know. So that's why I'm doing this. Maybe in help enlighten and, and build people courage up, okay. So yeah, um, first we're going to talk about your God or goddess, God and goddess. It's equal, it's balanced. And yours is Persephone. I don't know how to pronounce that. <laughs> Goddess of Harvest and the Queen of the Underworld. Um, she is often depicted as the young goddess holding shelves of grain and a flaming torch. There is so much inner conflict that that is inher inherited to the experience of being a Capricorn. It only makes sense that she would also be a representation of both the light and the dark, warring against each other. Hades fell in love with her and took her to the underworld, which also represents the darkness that comes with with the winter. So I'll show you a picture. I know I got a picture of it on the cover. So, uh, let's see, she also got us a spring broke worship alongside her mother Demeter okay Demeter I forgot what sign that was she bad ain't she <laughs> she bad <ain't. laughs> look hello I'm gonna be in the 80s you might as well looking good huh <laughs> and also um let me see what else I got in Egyptian you're also Horus Okay, the falcon hated god is a familiar ancient Egyptian god. He has become one of the most commonly used symbols of Egypt, seen on Egyptian airplanes and on hotels and restaurants throughout the land. Horus is the son of Osiris and Isis, the divine child of the holy family tri 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 Trinity. Okay, so this is him, y'all. Horus. Okay, that was it. Okay, so yeah, that's what I have. I hope it kind of boosts anybody who's feeling kind of some type of way or that you're more than just what you see. So we're going to do a weekly health advice from ancestral guys, spirits, higher self, <clears throat> divine source, who all you believe in, angels, whatever it may be. See what they want to say for you this week. And they got your four cards out, okay. Hug a tree, cook for someone and yourself. Maybe you have been grounded, going outside. A lot of people are scared to go barefooted, but get out of nature the way you can. Enjoy yourself. Free your mind. You know, breathe. That's so much healing. People just don't know. And cook for someone or yourself. Maybe bring a picnic basket or something, okay? Hands. Learn to protect yourself against lower entities okay stuff might be coming against you cappy and i don't know why they are <laughs> and your hands may be using them a lot for work and stuff so do some hand exercises um different things you can do wrap it up i talk about a lot on my channel different all kind of uh, videos on how to take care of your hands or maybe you just need a manicure pamper yourself okay Buy some healthy foods, be creative, and make something this week for you. Or maybe a new job or a hobby can come up, come out of it, or for others, okay? So, yeah, maybe they want you to eat healthier this week and enjoy Mother Nature, you know? And uh, maybe get some protection crystal, take a spiritual bath, whatever's necessary. Just kind of weigh your surroundings and see who's for you and who's not, okay? Ask your ancestors, guides, your higher self, or know you have a good feeling. Okay. And your knees. So maybe you're not bending right at work or uh, something to do with that. Or maybe you injured your knee. Arthritis coming. Different videos on that as well. Hold on, y'all. Grandbaby calling.
Sorry, Cappy, about that. So, yeah, knees, okay? Now, I'm going to do a little tarot, whatever that means for you. See what they uh, want to tell you on that, okay? First one is Seven of Cups, Third Deacon, Scorpio, Venus. All that glitters is not gold. Look beyond the clouds, money improvement. So, delusional, thinking something it is and it ain't. Or like they were saying about, you know, just talking about wearing your friends. Um, protect yourself against lower entities. So, it's time to see what's real and what's not. What's for you and what's not. Who's for you and what's not. Who's your circle? Who's for you? You know? Taking any wooden nickels like the old folks say. Page of Cups. Young man of 25 years. Basic good news. So you got the water sign. So you got good news coming. Are you pregnant? Congratulations. Okay. And yeah. Um, you know. Good news coming. So get ready for that. You know. However it may be for you. Ten of Wands, weighed down with problems, very heavy load, third deacon, sad, Saturn. You know Saturn always had us going through some kind of some tent. That's yours on the wheel, right? On the birth chart. <laughs> Tenth house. So, just relax. That's why they say hug a tree, cook for some, eat something good, take care of your health. You know what I'm saying? Watch the crowd you're in. Maybe you need to be full around people. Maybe they having their energies making you feel some type of way. You know, take a walk, see what your path is, that yellow brick road, what you're supposed to be doing, your destiny and stuff. And relax. <clears throat> now, this was upside down. Ten of Pentacles, <clears throat> Third Deacon, Gemini, Mercury, Earth, Money, Contentment, Signing of Money, Agreement. So maybe not this, this week. What the other one say? Yeah, so maybe you just got to wait a little bit, paycheck, my whatever might be late or whatever you're waiting on. Might be a little wait, uh, a little late. So now it's time to do some research while you got free time. You know, Let's find out who your ancestors is, your blood type. Uh, Google who has a site. Blood type is you. See what your ancestors did for us eating. What might have hurt them and killed them, and what saved them. You know, go back to ancient time. What they ate. You know, time to figure out what type of mate, which surrounding. Do you like dogs? Do you like kids? You know what I'm saying? Get know that stuff. Okay. <clears throat> so let me do a little of my big chords and I'm going to let y'all go. Okay. Let's see. What they got to say, baby. So we got the king of spades reverse confidence self-assurance ego too much in ego you're not confident self-assured a grown man now okay master that you have authority control over anything leadership remember who you are protective of course of your family i love your family commanding demanding don't be demanding Possessive, don't be possessive, aggressive, okay? Overbearing, okay? You're mature now. You got to act like a grown man. You got to do mature things. You got to be wise, okay? Use your authority in the right way. You're already powerful. Not, you know, things going to be intense, but you can handle it, okay? You can control it. You know, calculate it, weigh the options, see what's going on, you know, around you. You know, detect it. Okay, do some thinking and communicate. Just an air sign, the swords. Not having the sword up all the time, okay? All right, Cappy, that's what I have for you. I hope this helps. This your girl, Ruth, signing off. And uh, would you like, subscribe, share, and comment? I really appreciate it. All right, love y'all. Bye.